I started coming to the community center when I was about five years old. My uh, aunts and uncles used to bring me to watch my cousins play basketball and uh, kind of hang out here. And I think I've been a member here, well, I'm 51, so 46 years. Uh, this place uh, actually, I would say, it pretty much helped develop a lot of the competitive spirit and, and a lot of, uh, of the, uh, the sporting uh, type activity that I do today. Um, as a member of the community center as a kid, I played basketball, I played baseball, did, uh, I, uh, excuse me, I, uh, gymnastics, and I did a lot of things. And of course they had ping pong and pool and everything else here. It was a place for us to come and, and, uh, and congregate. It was actually a great social atmosphere and I think that was something that was extremely important in, in developing friendships and relationships uh, going forward. still the same where we're still offering a lot of opportunities for kids, senior citizens here at the center. Also uh, the programs that we do, we still get a lot of kids in the area. The area has lost some of its, uh, a few people in the area, but we still get a large number of people that are participating in programs. Um, the one thing again that that hasn't changed is that we are such an impact on the kids in the area and the area itself. Uh, giving people a chance to bring their kids here, a safe place, a safe environment, um, a place where along with the kids, the parents can come, sit here, use the computers uh, while their kids are doing programs, maybe shop in the downtown, which again, that helps the downtown area, uh, which makes us a very, very important part of the whole island, basically the hub of the island uh, that keeps the island going. Uh, without the community center on the island, the businesses would definitely be heard also. Uh, the main focus again though is that we still are a very positive and protective place for the kids in the area. I think it's amazing that GRCC provides these programs, these FIDA programs, to help develop these children. And this has been going on for many years. The GRCC was in my parents' time with many memories, which in turn went to mine and my brother's time when we were growing up. The GRCC had all these programs and a place to go, a place to feel safe. And also, my children um, started out in the GRCC also and followed sports right up through to high school. So people like Bob Anderson, who has been here for many years and has supported and has, has stood behind the youth in this community and some surrounding communities and watched these children grow into productive young men and women and have that opportunity to do that, to take that away would be a tragedy. It would be a tragedy. My name is Luann Thibodeau and I work at GRCC Gymnastics at the Community Center in Rumford. I've been part of the program for the last 24 years. I'm the head coach here and we have about 150 kids that are involved in our gymnastic program. I feel that the gymnastic program is very beneficial to the children of our area. Um, there's a couple things that are real important. Number one is they spend a lot more time here than sometimes even at their own home. We have some kids that are in the gym four or five days a week and spend many hours of commitment here in the gymnastic program. Um, they also become, I feel, better gymnasts, better family people, and also better students in school because of the dedication that they have to be in the sport, that they really have to work hard and get their homework done in certain times so that they can come to our program we stress the importance of school and education comes first and your sports life comes second so for that to be accomplished they need to um, be at home doing homework getting things passed in and then come to class
Hi, I'm Sergeant Douglas Mayfield. I'm a police officer with the Rumford Police Department. I've been a police officer um, actually in about a week. It will be 23 years now. Um, I love doing my job. I always go into law enforcement to help people. And one of my biggest things was to get in to help kids. I uh, started doing the D.A.R.E. program in 1993, so this recent D.A.R.E. graduation was my 19th year of um, teaching D.A.R.E. And I really enjoy my job. It's the best part of my job. It's nice to go in into a school and see someone that's happy to see you, not dreading to see you because you're walking up with a speeding ticket or something like that. Um, but I've really enjoyed doing that. I've also um, had the opportunity to be a coach. Uh, I coached Pee Wee basketball at the community center. I uh, coached farm league baseball with Colleen Calden. Um, we did that for numerous years through both my daughters. I've, uh, I've also helped go on further when they became into high school and middle school and stuff like that, volunteer my times. It wasn't necessarily with the community center, but it was still a follow up with what they learned at the community center. Um, but that helped too. And then, of course, I also helped coach basketball with Tim LaPointe. And, and part of the GRCC programs is not just my involvement, but all the community that it takes to raise a child. It takes a village to raise a child, and that's part of what the GC, GRCC does. You know, you have coaches not only that are helping coach your kids, helping mentor your kids, helping create memories for your kids, but they also get to see how adults interact, how others are coaching, and they can model those behaviors. It's so important as a community to help raise our kids with the programs that are offered at the GRCC. That part of being a community center member I think is extremely important. And when I say that part, I'm talking about giving back to the community and doing things for not just your own kids, but for other kids in the community and helping out. You know, when I was growing up, uh, coaches used to not necessarily have their kids on teams. They would just come and volunteer and coach because that's what they were shown to do. And they had a lot of uh, identity with the town of Rumford in Mexico, and, and they wanted to, to, again, give back to the towns and, and be as helpful uh, for the youth of this area as uh, they were helped when they were younger, and I kind of feel the same way. I think it's extremely important for people to recognize that if they're going to volunteer, they need to do it with a feeling that it's service above self, and I say that because I'm a Rotarian uh, and have been a, a, a Rotarian for a long time, and, and part of that motto is giving back and, and doing things, and not just for your own self-interest and not just you know, for your own children, uh, but for everybody in general, and, and trying to do the right thing and trying to help. Kids that I coached or that came up through the program that are now doing things with their kids. Uh, we have people like Ryan Casey, who's now a school principal, who I coached, and now he's coaching over here with his child. Uh, Dan Garberini, who's a lieutenant in the police department, and again, he came up through the system here, and he's now coaching his kid in several sports here. Uh, Dr. Jerry Cohen, who's coached several kids in the area and did it for years, even after his kids were gone, he still stayed to do programs and hang on for the community center to help out. Uh, Sheriff's Department, the Chief of the Sheriff's Department, Wayne Gallant, who coached several teams and his kids, again, he had three kids that came up and is still helping out in fundraisers and things like that. So that's, it's been great like that. We even have people from out of town that come back after 40 years and 50 years that come in and say, oh my God, we're glad this place is still open and still alive and we've gotten donations from them just saying we hope this place never you know gets closed or that continue the good work and it's such a positive thing for the community and we're glad to see that when we grew up here things are still going like that so that, that's always been a fun part of it too just to see all these people that's came up through and again we have even people on the board that have kids 
I like Gary Dolloff, that his kids are all grown up, but he's chairman of the board. So, you know, that's kind of nice to see, and it shows what the community feels about the community center, that they want to keep on giving to make sure this place continues to survive. I've been on the um, Greater Winford Community Center Board of Directors for probably six years now. And one of the reasons why I became involved is because um, you get a lot of feedback from different things and I wanted to have the facts. I wanted to know what's going on behind this beautiful place that has served so many people through generation to generation. And I wanted firsthand to know what could I do to make a positive impact to keep this place going. And I have not regretted one day of it. Um, I feel that um, people need to get involved and they need to have the facts and they need to understand everything that goes into making this place run. And not only with the youth with the GRCC, but you know, we're housing our seniors, we're taking care of our seniors, we have three active businesses that people are employed by that depend upon this building, and I think that more people need to come together and they need to protect what is ours, and I am willing to sacrifice all of my time that it takes to make this happen, because even though my children are grown and gone, um, I have nephews, I have families, as you do, to make this place stay together and, and carry on one of the very icons of this, of this town. A lot of times just to hang around with my friends, there was a lot of kids that hung out here at the, it was called the Stoot, and we hung out here, we played games. It kept us off the streets and out of trouble, and I think that this area needs to do that more for children nowadays. There is nowhere else in this town for them to be in a safe environment under the watch of the very capable people that work at the front desk and a lot of coaches that give all of their time here at the community center for the dedication of many young children. Myself, I was a young girl. I came here. I would even stay here on weekends. We would have stoop dances. Um, and I did leave and went to California for a few years. And then when we had children, we decided to come back to uh, this area. And I came in. My kids got involved in the dance studio here, came into the gymnastic program under Ron Ashworth and Ron was getting done coaching at that time and kind of pulled me into uh, helping him out and I along with Missy Elwood and uh, Laurie Glover ended up taking over the program and I've been here ever since. We have kids from the age of two and a half to 19 in our program here for gymnastics. We have a competition team that travels throughout all of Maine to compete at other YMCA's and then once a year we go to New England regionals and compete in New Hampshire, Massachusetts, New York, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Rhode Island and our girls do very very good in that competition and I feel that they put in un quite a number of hours into the gym which does keep them very busy, active and physically fit. One thing that I've really noticed about the community center being a coach is I've seen 
these kids grow up. That's the one advantage that I've had with having two daughters is I got to be able to coach my daughters when they played these sports and also got to coach their teammates. And in addition to that, I got to teach them in DARE and I got to see a lot of these kids grow up throughout their life. So I've seen them start out. I remember this one girl when we started Farm League that couldn't even um, hit a baseball very well. She was really having uh, struggles and be able to help her thrive. And the funny thing is, and not bragging or anything, but a lot of the, the athletes that Colleen Calden and I had from Farm League all did excellent in sports. I'm hoping I had a part of that. I'm hoping the community center had a part of that. Some of it might be natural talent, but if they didn't have some guidance from the community center to be able to do those things and be able to thrive, they would never be the athletes that they are today. And I would really hate to think what would happen if, if we weren't able to offer these programs, if the GRCC closed their doors. Um, I've been involved, I watched so many kids go in and out of that building, in and out of those programs, and to not have them to offer uh, would be a, a travesty. It, it would be tragic for many kids, and it gives them a place to go, it gives them things to do, and if they're not doing those things, if, if those doors aren't open, I'm afraid of what might happen with some of those some of those uh, young people. Not all of the young people, because you know they would find other things, or their parents would find other things. But there's definitely a segment of our population that needs, not just wants to be involved, but needs to be involved through programs that are offered at the GRCC. My team has retired. My team is the Red Hawks. Okay. And I'm eight years old. My number on my shirt. My number on my shirt is four. Perfect.